Right. Ooh, now it's time to dis decipher which species this is. Oh, that is very cool. It's actually not a snake. It's a legless skink. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a legless skink, just judging from its nose. How cool is that? So, it looks like... It is, it's a, it's a legless skink. Oh dear, I've only got a snake out. Let's get a bit closer. I just wanna have a look at its face. And that is so cool. I love it, I love a little bit of a reptile in the morning. How's that, Brian? So the reason I think it's a legless skink is this, is the shape, sorry, I'm gonna jump out, Brian. I'm gonna be in your shot for a second. Now the reason I think it's a legless skink is because of the shape of the head. So sometimes when you look very carefully, you can actually see remnant little legs. And I'm trying to see, but that that nose is telling me that it's, it's actually a lizard, a lizard without legs. So isn't that weird? We get some wonderfully strange creatures there. So. If it had been a blind snake of this size, um, I think the head shape would have been different. And if this coloration as well is, is, is probably the, the, the most common one we have here, it's probably one of the most dangerous. It's called a stiletto snake or Bibrum's, Bibrum's uh, burrowing asp. But see the head, it's got that lizard shaped head. Now, I'm just trying to see some of them, and not all of them have remnant legs. Let's have a look. Do we have any remnant legs? We don't. Oh, he's so cool. Isn't this just fan fantastic? So, the reason these skinks or lizards have lost their, their, their legs is because they mostly live underground and they hunt for sort of worms and, and things like that, but under the ground. So they're moving down tunnels made by termites, by rodents and and as they move through, they're all sort of little arthropods and and and, and insects and, and earthworms uh, is what they feed on. So cool! <laughs> He's got a, a very... Can you see his head nicely, Brian? Yeah. He's got a very unimpressed look on his face, doesn't he? He's like, oh... <laughs> but I think that's his normal look, unimpressed with life. And you can see any animal that spends a lot of time underground. He's got the smallest of small eyes and probably in a hundred thousand years or so, this particular species will, will, will lose its eyes completely. If I remember correctly, now I'm going back into my brain, it is a giant legless skink. So this is the, one of the biggest species. It's so cool. I can't help myself. I have to, I have to get, get one of my little tricks out. What could be? My little trick. <gasps> a macro lens. Now, my macro lens for my big camera is unfortunately not well and has had to go to Camera Lens Hospital in Johannesburg. So, in the meantime, I have a lens for this, this. Okay, now I'm going to try get a, a, a photo and I'll show you what it looks like to get his unimpressed face from a very frontal angle. Don't be scared. Now, don't ever use an iPhone macro lens with something that's actually venomous because you will come off second best. <laughs> Oh, my foot's in the photo. I don't want my foot in the photo. See, you don't want to do this with something that's actually venomous because, as I say, it'll be very detrimental to your health. Ah! No, don't keep turning away. Oh, shame. Now, that behavior is actually very indicative 
of the venomous burrowing asp. So they often do that, and one of the other things the burrowing asp does is to sort of stick its head in the ground to try and make itself bigger. Now, you'll find a lot of the non-venomous burrowing snakes will display similar, or legless skinks in this case, will display similar behavior to the venomous one, and of course, that's to confuse any possible predators into thinking that they might be dangerous as well. Okay, let's try just a normal one, so. You can see what I mean when he says he looks unimpressed with life. There we go. <laughs> He's just got the most, oh, my life is so tough, look on his face. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't he just look unhappy? No, of course, that's just his face. He's not that unhappy. Are you trying to escape behind me? Not yet. But is, isn't that so cool? Now, where's the... Oh. Now, Hunter is wondering, is it slimy? Well, not not really, Hunter. It's it's scaly. And, and they do have that wonderful sheen. Um, but... Uh, they're not slimy at all. I mean, very few snakes or lizards are slimy. They, they do have a silky, smooth sort of uh, feeling to them, but they're, but they're not they're not slimy at all. Um, now, I'm 99.999% sure this is a giant legless kink, but because I'm not 100% sure, I won't I won't handle it. Um, just in case it's a it's it's a snake I don't know. And you uh, unlikely, but. If you're not 100% sure, you'd never want to handle any of these things. So there's many a person who's like, oh, it's this, it's that, pick it up. And it's been that Bibron's bl uh, burrowing asp. And the thing about the burrowing asp, and the reason that a little creature like this shows similar tendencies to it, because they're highly venomous, they have cytotoxic venom. They also nicknamed the stiletto snake. So instead of having fangs that come out of their mouth, they have fangs that sit sideways like this. So it's one of the only snakes you cannot handle, even if you pick it up correctly, like you'd pick up a cobra or a mamba, they're able to still just nick you with, with, with that sideward facing fang. And what that ends up, ends up doing is causing necrosis. And, and there's, uh, if, you ever, if you ever go on safari and you meet a safari guide who's missing a <laughs> finger, it's generally because he's misidentified a stiletto snake. And, uh, lost his finger due to necrosis. Now, just, let's go have a look at this again. The body shape. Now let's go have a quick look again. And uh, you can see it's very really shiny and, 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 and beautiful. Now, Kitty Kitty Bang Bang's wondering, does the skink shed its skin? Yes, like all reptiles, outside of crocodiles, of course, and alligators and stuff, but all your snakes, skinks, lizards will all shed their skin as they grow. Now, this is a particularly large individual. And you can see from a snake point of view, if it was a snake, it's quite an, a, a different sort of uh, body shape. And you can see, normally there's a very more distinct sort of neckline and the tail, there are blind snakes that almost don't have a tail. But you can see this is sort of the remnants of an old skink tail. And I'm, oh, before I'm 100% sure, I don't want to pick it up. Uh, just in case I've got it wrong. I, I, as I said, I'm 99% sure. But you can see little, uh, almost sort of bumps where the legs used to be. And because the, the whole body shape has changed over evolution, uh, this, the, the legs normally sit or the remnant legs normally sit about there, and then the, the next set of legs sit about there. So the whole body's been elongated and the whole spinal structure and everything has changed. But just looking at its its head, um, it's, it's almost certainly a, a giant legless skink. Oh, so cool, wait. It's got the very big nostrils for a, for a, for a creature of that size. Let me see if I can get a photo of the nostrils for you. Yeah. From front on, he looks even more unimpressed with life. There we 
Yep. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> now, after rains, you, you, you see them more often than, than, than you do during the dry season. And of course, a lot of the, the burrows they live in are inundated with water and all flooded. And so they come out, and especially early morning and, and, and at the night and moving to different areas. Standing by Rex. That's so cool.